Okay, I just wanted to check that everybody can see me clearly. Excellent. Hello, everybody. Good evening. My name is Ryan. This is my sign name. And I'm a treasurer for Deaf Victoria and have been for almost three years now. Tonight, I will be going through our financial report. Like Cathy mentioned previously, this year has been extraordinary with COVID-19. It's had huge implications, but at the same time, it's not necessarily all negative. As we've seen, there's been many gains or positives um, in terms of working with staff. Uh, we have an additional cost person, Sarah, jump on board, and also the general manager, Maxine. It's been wonderful. It's been extremely valuable to have these relationships and these staff members on board. Obviously, there have been negative impacts of COVID, but we've persevered through this time. Okay, so this financial year, up until the 30th of June, 2020, we, as Kathy mentioned before, applied for quite a number of grants. However, because of COVID, it has meant that we've not totally expended those funds, and that's been a little difficult. But now we are aiming to be back on track, and we will talk about those aspects of the financial report as well. So for this financial year, it's kind of it uh, ceased 30th of June 2020, the income was $452,106. This is 266% an increase compared to what we had last financial year. So a significant increase in our income, but because of COVID-19 restrictions, we've had issues with projects that have had to cease or pause. Uh, and we've not been able to employ further staff, so we haven't fully expended those funds. Those funds, in terms of what we've applied for in various grants, uh, come from advocacy information service support, but I'll name the various other projects. So we have Auslan in the city, that was through the city of Melbourne, that particular project. Health advocacy project through DHHS Victoria. And also Deaf Victoria, capacity building project through NDIA information, which is capacity building. And also through these grants, it means we're able to provide quite a number of projects and we've had to get somebody on board to ensure that those projects can happen and the cogs start turning. So we do have our general manager, Maxine, who will be overseeing those projects. Because of COVID-19, as we mentioned before, our ability to expend the funds has been somewhat stifled. However, what we have spent is $193,480, which is just a fraction, a 15% uh, increase of what we spent last year. So overall, we're hoping to expend all the funds that we have available to us. But unfortunately, due to this year being quite chaotic, we're going to have to adjust around that. And hopefully next year we can get back to you about the various achievements that will take place. Uh, because from July 2020, we've been able to progress these projects forward. Recently, we had a review to ensure that our finances were appropriate and uh, Obviously, we identify key areas that we need to resolve, and we have managed to do that. So we're going to ensure that we hold a financial review each year to ensure that we are sustainable and the finances are spent appropriately. So overall, we're very healthy as an organisation, I'm proud to say, and will remain to be. And we will be seeking other funding opportunities and grants so we can continue to provide services for the community. Um, I think I'll wrap that up. But